Yokoso. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for stopping by. On today's episode, I'm going to be covering the build on this transmission cross member mount for the 1JZ 300CD. But, anyways, let me take you through the process of how I built this. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little video. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Alright, so I got this profile marked out with this piece. I'm gonna cut it out to make a little cradle so this will fit right in. And then we can burn it in wherever and then stick the bushings wherever distance apart. This should sink this down. That yeah, should be good. Hopefully. All right, got these notched, looking pretty good, and then this guy is going to sit right in there. It's going to fit right in there. Alright, we got the trans mount welded up. Looks pretty good. Got these bushings in. There we go. Kind of hard to see here, but there it is, mounted in between the original transmission mount that crosses to the or the transmission cross member so now I just have to connect those two bushing points to these cross members and we're done all right so I have the cross member for the transmission mount here I cut it up and I put these two braces in so this is gonna be mounted to the bottom of the car with two bolts upwards this is gonna go right there these little tabs I just cut on each side they're freaking hot Oh yeah. Bam, bam. Like that. 
that. We should be good to go. I'm going to have a little bit of adjustment in here. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. the tabs cut out they got adjustments sit right there you know, up and down about a quarter of an inch all right so here it is, got the tabs tack welded in real quick to locate this in the center. Now it's one piece. Check it out, these tabs are burned in. Whenever you weld tabs in, you should always stick a little washer on, on the, uh, the tabs because it will bring, suck them in and they won't fit. So once you stick a little washer in there, it'll, it'll create that nice little gap to let the bushings drop in. So we're gonna let this cool off and then paint it, throw it in the car. So here's the cross member mount, the transmission mount, and the bolts for the transmission mount. This is what it looks like right now. All in one piece, all colored, good to go. This is adjustable, just in case. But it's at the lowest part, part is where it should be. All right, what do you think? Looks pretty nice. So let's go throw it in the car, see the process that takes. First. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the transmission mount fully built with two bushings. So this is for sure going to prevent rotational torque and hopefully keep the motor in place, the engine in place. So that's a good little weekend project. And I'm going to call. I'm done. So immediately, 
There's no side play, which is really good. Feels really solid. Just gotta test drive it, see how much shake it has. Probably not a lot, but pretty sure that's gonna conclude it this time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.